How's it going by? And welcome back to Fallout 2 with me, Noble. Now, <laughs> I feel real bad for this guy. Okay, so he had, apparently the game designers probably messed up with him. Rather than have tables you could go to to get their items and see what they are, he had an internal inventory, which was separate than his actual inventory. So if you look over here, you'll see that he's got, I actually had to give him a little bit of money. I bought this. It was 2000 for this energy cell. That was in his store only. It wasn't in the inventory on himself. So I, you know, used a bunch of stuff. I basically stole most of these things you see here are all stolen, except for that rope. Stolen off of him and sold back to him to uh, some of the ammo too. So yeah, and uh, some armor and stuff like that. I mean, I was like, man, I, I feel bad because you see all that stuff. This guy had a lot of things on his person. So I'm going to go in here real quick just to show you. These are the things I left behind. He had like 12 things in his inventory. <laughs> and I took all the ammo and uh, a shotgun and I gave it to my new ally, the new guy we got. I, I stole the heavy uh, metal armor, gave it to the new guy. So there wasn't any reason to sell it back to him. So I left him with four knives, two armor, and that. But once again, as you just saw, it's not the same as his uh, st uh, store inventory. So it's like two separate, you know, storage areas kind of thing. So it's kind of weird. All right. Stay fast, please. There you go. Right before you go in, we have to search your belongings. Oh, crap. Sometimes outsiders try to smuggle in alcohol or... Habit forming Kims into the city, buff out jet, psycho, mentats, that sort of thing. Alright, looks like you're clean. You can head in. Okay. I was like, oh man, I'm like, do I have anything like that? I think my companion had some alcohol on him. Uh, where do we want to head to first? Daylight hours, so let's talk to the citizens first. I used to have two children, but they were, uh, Shipped northwards. I hope make it there someday. Ooh, Were they kidnapped or? This den. Uh, okay. You know what? I actually want to change my outfit. I'm a vault dweller, so let's put my armor away and go back into my vault suit. As a matter of fact, let's put a gun away. That way, we're not running around with a gun in our hands. Be the best vault citizen we can be. It's probably somebody's personal home, but we'll walk in anyway. Oh, hey, they all got vault suits on. Perfect. Please wipe your feet before entering the house. Okay. Wow, they got functioning toilets and sinks. It's fine living around these parts. Actually, let's check my inventory. Do I still have that? I do still have my day pass. I thought the day pass might be a one day pass, you know? Steal anything that ain't bolted down. Oh crap. Now two companions, I might be uh, in that deal where you can't get past them. The move Lydia and all that kind of thing. I won't be able to steal any more there because uh, they're all standing in front of their cases. Let's check out the tap house since we're down on this end. The last episode may not have been that great, but the stealing went well for me enough. Luckily, the AI isn't like some games, like. In Skyrim, if you walk into somebody's personal room, they'll come chasing after you like, Hey, what are you doing here? Kind of thing. I'll take that. What is this? A box of noodles? Don't need it. Take like that knife, though. Hello, my friend. What are you doing back here? Oh, They taught you how to read. 
Yes, can I help you? What's on tap? Looking for some information to go with that first. Like what? Who's in charge of Alt City? First citizen? Like, hmm. Council building up north? Well, I guess we'll know we're heading up there later. All right. Where is the vault? I already know where it is. The big hole in the mountain to the east of here. You can't access it unless you're a citizen. I only have a day pass. I'm not a citizen. I noticed when I, ha I had the option of saying I'm a citizen if uh, I got to the doorway. So there's got to be a way to become a citizen since both of these uh, requirements are for citizens. Uh, can you tell me about the slavery in Vault City? Look, first thing I have to say is that you better not call it slavery around here or you're going to get yourself in a whole mess of trouble. They're called servants, not slaves, just a word of advice. They're slaves, and we gotta free them the best we can. Point taken. Say, I wanna know something else. Vault City have contact with the outside world. Not much. Most contact we have with the outsiders is merchants traveling to Big Circle Caravan. Big Circle, okay. Broken Hills, Navarra, Reading. That name Reading sounds familiar. I kind of wonder if that was in Fallout 1. Only place of the South Caravan Travel known is Gecko. Mm. Let's go Reading. It's a mining town for the west to here. Maybe we've been there already. I don't know. So many caravans recently. What about Gecko? Town of Ghouls. Okay. Less than a day's travel to the northeast. As I understand it, the rumors is pretty. Travelers enter the territory. Best to stay away. New Reno. It's a ways to the southwest. I hear conflicting reports about Reno. Some merchants, especially the slavers, are pretty love it there. Other merchants don't. City with a lot of glitter and not a lot of trouble, I hear. Okay. Modern community, like reading, except located to the south. Uranium, okay. Got something else. Synthetic beers, liquor, vodka. So it's all fake. No wonder they arrested the uh, or find the guy for selling actual alcohol when they got nothing but fake crap up here. <laughs> Refreshing glass of milk, indeed. <laughs> Real alcohol. Why are you looking for something more kick than that? Sure used to have a... Well, I used to know of a merchant that sold a bottle of molding 3030. Bitter stuff. Couldn't feel my tongue. Where right in the merchant stash? It got drank, or so I heard. There was a few other friends here in the Vault City who helped the merchant and drink uh, his stash. They're willing to pay good price if you have the real... Ooh, I gotta figure out how to sneak alcohol in here then to get money. Is that so? Well, if you happen to be looking to relieve yourself of some alcohol, then I could make it worth your while. Excellent. If you keep quiet about the deal... Okay, so 10 bottles of premium alcohol and 10 bottles of beer. None of that radioactive stuff that comes from Gecko. Just old booze. Eh, let's see if we can barter then. And she's got some money. Let's sell her back some of her own property. Uh, I'm not really using this right now. Get rid of it. Yeah, I really don't want to get rid of that hand grenade. It's the only explosive I got right now. One thirty, one thirty. Good deed. Okay. 
Okay, we got ourselves a glass of milk from the bar. <laughs> I can't read that to a maintenance, maybe? A maintenance center? I think it's maintenance and maintenance, so, okay. Well, I got something we can do there. Before we go in here, we're gonna save. So she needs 10 bottles of alcohol, 10 uh, bottles of beer. Hello there, stranger. Always a pleasure to see a new face. Name's Radnall. I'm the chief uh, anonymities officer. Need anything? Is what is this place? This is anonymities office. Got your typical stock, basic living uh, necessities, some books, how to manage. Ooh, that could be very useful. How to manuals, stem packs, medical supplies, this and that. Uh, got a geck. A geck. That's a god to each creation kit. A kind of uh, gray suitcase looking thing, right? Haven't heard of anyone uh, mention one of those in, well, since almost forever. Well, do you have one? Hate to break it to you, my friend, but uh, we don't uh, have ours anymore. Use it to make this vault city. Poof, all gone. You know, in Fallout 3, when you uh, use the guard creation kit to start purifying water, that's a lot of water has to get purified, so I don't know exactly. I, I assume the guard creation kit has to have nano machines or something. That's the whole deal with it or whatever. But, yeah. Have, you know any place that might have one? Well, hmm. Here's your problem. As I see it, the Gek is an old piece of tech. Pre-war tech, in fact. You just can't find them anymore. They were only used in, to vaults. You know where you, I could find other vaults? Well, if you had access to our vault control computer, you might be able to. To find... Uh, see, everything's pointing me to the vault. I have to become a citizen in order to go to this vault. Uh, some mention of some vaults, but only citizens are allowed to go to the vault. Yeah, I'm looking at the time. I got like half an episode left. I don't think I'm going to become a citizen before this episode's over by the looks of it. Hmm. Want to ask you something else? Well, let's see what we can do on the selling and buying. What? There's nothing here. Okay, there's got to be something wrong here because I should have been able to buy something off of him from the way he was talking. Unless I got to go and check the shelves for the items. That's why I say it, just in case he gets mad. Let's finish my duties within an hour. So, I can't actually buy, sell, or trade with this guy, huh? Well, that sucks. Alright. Well, that sucks. But I got information, and that isn't too bad. Hello, welcome, traveler. Have you heard of the word today? Is the word the bird? The bird is the word? Ah! Uh, no. I don't want to. Goodbye. Let's see if we can get barter first. He is poor. I do not speak to the poor. I'm kidding. I'm poor. <laughs> I feel like he's going to try and get us uh, in with the radioactive cult or something. The religion of Adam. Six p.m. What time is it? It's still eight in the morning. Okay, so we're good. It's only been seven minutes in game by the looks of it. Correction Center. Servant Allocation Center. This is where we're going to need to go to try and find out what happened to uh, the husband. So they use the same shelves, but they've made it into beds this time. Yes, what is it? I'm behind on my assignments. Uh, let's try and trade. He's actually got some stuff. All right. Um, worth quite a good bit. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I might actually need that. You win this round. Uh, what is this building? Servant Assignment Center. What's that? Citizens who uh, need uh, help with uh, menial tasks can come to have a servant assigned to them for the day. Yeah, make sure we don't say that. Where to get all the servants? I'm looking for a particular servant. Joshua, I believe he is here. Joshua, yes, we have him. A uh, servant by that name. He was recently transferred from the Correction Center. Your interest in him is... Ooh, okay, um... We'll take a run with it. Is that so? Are you aware that each servant is thoroughly checked before being admitted to the Allocation Center? my own name uh symptoms what kind of symptoms never symptom. them a lot of out uh worlders have it uh its symptoms include uh speaking when not being spoken to and using uh coarse language and so i noticed these symptoms in the servants of late contagious you say hmm well if this joshua is a carrier I shall release him at once. Give him a moment to make uh, the arrangements. I'm surprised they didn't say, we're going to go ahead and execute him so he doesn't infect anybody, you know? It's all done. Joshua is no longer a servant of Vault City and has been moved to the courtyard with the rest of the Outworlders. <laughs> Making him way back into the city. Okay. Oh, man, that's crazy. Hey, we did it, though. I was so worried. I was like, oh, we screwed up. I have to choose a different option. I was like, let's try to run with it first. I'll save some of the crap out of this place. Yeah, I got some uh, jailed uh, vault dwellers, too. Uh, who are you? I am Citizen Sergeant Stark. Outsider, what do you want? Uh, what do you do here? I run the Correction Center. Keep the out, uh, Outworlders in line and make sure the servants behave. Organize patrols and try to protect the city from raiders. Uh, good thing I say to Casey's bar. Maybe your friend Casey there didn't tell you that he had illegal substances on the premises and his license for alcohol distribution had expired. You want to forget to tell your friend here this, that, Casey. He read his place anyway. Casey was guilty of possession without a license. He doesn't like it, he can leave the vault city. It's simple. Hmm. Punching an officer inside the jail is probably the worst thing I could do. Will not trade, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna ask it anyway. We're like 10 feet away. Vault's right outside the door, you idiot. Only citizens are allowed to go in there, so I don't want you to uh, catch uh, you bothering the guards. Actually, I should have asked how to become a citizen. Why didn't I think about that? How to become a citizen. I was born a citizen. Interested in becoming a citizen? Find a council member. Okay, well that helps. Uh, we got, what? These two buildings and that little one over there. So let's go ahead and hit these up. Looks like information center. I think that's what it says on that one. Yes, what is it? What is this place? Seven amenities office. Handle the distribution of pharmaceutical supplies. Okay. 
There we go. So the head office distributes to these places, I guess. So it's like finding different counters from different stores. Alright, that's cool. Let's see if I can look at this counter without getting yelled at. I can because there's nothing on it. So this must be, I don't know, armor, medical supplies. That's not what I meant. You're not supposed to be clicked on. Of course, none of these are actually interactable. Sorry, can I help you with something? What is this place? Sub authorities office. We handle tools, repair equipment. Okay. Knives, sledgehammers, a little bit of money, not much. So this must be the armory then. Ooh, look at that back room. I'd love to break in here and steal stuff from here. Yes! Did you want something? Or are you just gonna stand there gawking like a moron? It's a maintenance shed for Vault City. Or did you just happen to miss the huge sign on the front of the building? You got, uh, the... of uh, some sort, alright. Look, you need something required, uh, repaired or just want me to ask a bunch of dumb questions? Well, you repair here. Synthetic uh, alcohol dis uh, dispensers. Radius. Firearms. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Right now, I got this uh, metal lathe barely working. And my wrench has gone missing again. And my pliers teeth are stripped. Ooh, I have a, uh, I have the, uh, what's it called? Uh, the pliers. The problem is I can't just go out and buy some new ones. Help you? Sure. Uh, I'm getting you a new wrench and set of pliers help you out. Yes, why? I'll hold my breath, but if you want to, go ahead. Your time, not mine. Might be able to scrape together a little uh, something to pay you for the trouble. Okay, I should have the, the pliers. Yeah, I got the pliers right here. Hmm. I'll need to look for the wrench. I'm betting you the wrench is probably here. I bet you it's a pair of pliers and a wrench on this location in one of these houses, probably. But, you know, whatever the case is, we'll figure it out and we'll get it. Hello, something I can help you with. This place, this is the information center. Vault City is this uh, place where you're looking for. Yes, I actually have some questions to answer. Unfortunately, our books are currently being uh, transcribed into electronic format. The extras are being shipped to the uh, anonymity's office down the street. You know, try there. Uh. Books are being uh, entered into one of the library terminals in the third level of the vault. Oh, crap. I can't get in there. Hmm. Yes, well, everything is being transcribed because, hmm, that's somewhat a uh, delicate matter, but I believe you, uh, Vault City has become obsolete. They are dis, uh, disusing putting information terminals in every household. These new terminals would be all the 
tied to the list. Okay. Person is rarely wrong with such uh, matters. Hmm. They haven't shipped all the books out of the Animities office yet. I know Randall won't miss them if I give them to someone who appreciated them. Someone like yourself. Love to have those. Thanks. I'll fetch them. Here you go. I hope you enjoy reading them. They are some of my favorites. A little on the technical side, but still quite good. Hey, well, I got some free books. Okay, the name sounds familiar. Uh, I don't know myself. I hear an elder of my village tell that there's supposed to be some panacea for my village for more than a skeptical. Hmm. Well, you know, the central computer down in the vault might have some information. I gotta get in the vault. Well, you need to be a citizen to get in the vault city first. If you went to the and you could take the citizenship test. I hope it's the uh, goat. <laughs> Very, you can speak to the first system and. Uh, other questions? All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, we got ourselves a Dean's Electronics. So let's start by looking. Uh, I want to say it's repair, I think. Might be science. We're not going to read it yet because wait, there's another book actually. We got ourselves a book, big book of science too. Cool. Because if we read it, it'll push the time uh, forward, and that happens, and we're still inside the city. We might get in trouble if we're still here. All right. So these are all the indentured servants, the slaves of this place, unfortunately. Don't think I'll be running these people off and rescue them anytime soon. Hmm. Ah, oh, council right there. Nice looking building you got there, sir. Yeah, you can tell the Garden Eden kit's working quite well. Look at all this grass and trees everywhere. Uh, Alright, let's check this place out first. We'll move up. We're running out of time, though, so I might just check one or two buildings and then move on. And end the episode. Be about your business, Outwelder. Outwelder! Like him in Mortal Kombat now. He's from the Outworld. I don't know anything about manners. I'm actually a uh, a village folk. Well, apparently I got trapped. There we go. Might be able to find a wrench in a place like this. Stay away from there. Yeah, I should have realized she was standing right there. Door around here anywhere? Kind of hard to tell the doors are on these places. Oh, well, maybe on this side. sign. Oh, no. Don't tell me this is a whorehouse. Yes, can I help you? you want some information? And perhaps you should be at your at our information center instead of this establishment. It's located downtown. Now, move along. I have other customers. No, you don't. There's no one else here. Mm. 
Nope, they won't bother. Okay. Well, enough about that, I guess. It's, uh, time is up, so thank you everybody for stopping by and joining me. While in between episodes, I might try and look around and try to find that wrench that I need. If I can get that, then hopefully I'll have the toolkit by the time the next episode started. I realize there's probably going to be a good bit of reading in this place, so I might try and save y'all some of the trouble of, uh, moseying about and finding out information in town. Because it seems like this episode was a lot of talking, a lot of me reading. And not a lot of me talking at times, because I'm like, this is just too much to read. <laughs> Anyway, thank you everybody for stopping by and joining me. Hit that like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment below if you feel like. And bell icon for notifications also. Until next time, stay safe out there everybody, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.